Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we're going to continue our Linux journey and we are going to compile Linux from scratch. So now we need to create some uh, directories again. So we'll run make directory pv and now we need to create the bin directory. We want to create the boot directory. Uh, we will put the kernel in there and etc. And in etc we want to create opt and sysconfig. These are uh, configuration directories that we want. We want the home directory, we want the lib directory, and in their firmware directory, we want the mount directory and op directory. So these are some of the common Linux directories. So now we are looking a little bit more like a Linux environment. Then the next command, we will add a few more the media uh, and in media we will have floppy. Does anybody use floppy anymore? I don't. <laughs> CD-ROM. Um, I don't use CD-ROMs either. We want the sbin, we want the server and we want the var directory for variable stuff and we want to install dv dash m zero seven five zero and that's the root directory so this is our home directory we want to create there we want also to install um, dash m one seven 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 so this is writable and readable by anyone and this should be the temp directory and the var temp directory so now we've created those. We want to create more directories. Uh, USR. And here we should create local slash. And then bin include lib s bin and source. So there we have created a lot of directories in one go. Uh, make dir dv. And you see all the different directories I make here with the specific commands. Um, you see that they actually end up creating a lot more directories uh, than what I type in. So we will create some directories in share, color, share. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 we need a slash there. Color, dict, doc, info, locale, man. So the man pages. Those are a few directories. So oh, I forgot. Um, yeah, the USR. are uh, local share. Let's remove that and put a slash here. That's what we wanted. So there we create those. And then we do make a directory again, dash V, uh, USR, uh, local, slash, share, slash, <laughs> misc, term info and zone info. Uh, there we have a few more directories. And then we will do make dir dash v so we see what we make. USR lib exec and make dir uh, pv dash usr now we do a local slash share slash man slash man and then we want to create one to eight 
of those man pages directories. Well, these are all the man pages, um, and those are separated in different directories. And now we want some uh, case uname. So we will want to do stuff depending on uname for the machine in. And if we have x86 64, so that time of type of a machine, we want to make directory v lib 64. And in that there, and then we need to type case backwards. Uh, so it actually created that one because we have a 64-bit uh, system. And then we do a make dir dash v var. And in var we need the log directory for all the system logs, a mail directory for all the system mail, and spool for all things print related. And then we do ln dash s v for run, and that should be var run. So we do some symlinks here, and we do sv run slash lock to var lock. Symlinks there, and then last thing we want to create var, and here we want opt cache lib. In there we want uh, color misc locate and last we want local and we end that so there we created a few directories in a short order so this is pretty much create every directory in this file system so if we want, we can put a local uh, USR local games. If we want to add games uh, to our system, uh, we want also to create some file, some essential uh, files, sim links. So we will find those in our bin directory. Let's do that now. We do SV uh, tools for all our binaries are in tools and the binaries we want to do is bash cat co mod for uh, changing uh, modifying uh, files and directories dd for um, moving data <laughs> echo for echoing things to files or screen linking make their uh, current directory, remove and STTY, don't really know what that command does, touch is creating uh, files by just touching them and that will create, uh, uh, create that file we are pointing to. And we also do L uh, SV um, tools bin and then we want the env for environment variables, install command, perl, and printf for uh, manipulation of um, strings. And that should be in usr s uh, bin. And we want to link some libraries as well, some tools, lib lb lib uh, uh, gccs and also dot one of that to usr lib and we want to link up tools lib lib standard c plus plus and we want a so and also uh, point six uh, of that one. So b both so and point six uh, and those two to USR lib. There's a few uh, things that we need to 
do and now we want to run the install command vd and seven five five here's our lib package config so installing that directory and we want to uh, link up bash to bin sh so now we have bash as our standard so many of these things we added just because they are hard coded in many things that we want to build now uh, so if they are not found we have a huge problem uh, and now we need to create some files here this is gonna be a lot of typing i i see uh, first off we do one more linking here for proc self mounts to uh, etc m tab and uh, now we need to create the uh, password file so etc pass bd so this is the file where all the login information or the old file for the login information was kept uh, but it's still a file where you use where you add all the information for the different users of your system uh, then you have a, um, a file called shadow where you actually have your uh, passwords but this will define all the users and what uh, their home directory are and uh, what the name of them are. So the first is the actual login name. Then you have X, I don't really know what that is. Then you have the username, the user uh, ID, the group ID, and then you have the full name of the person, then you have the um, dir home directory, and then you have the shell that you want that user to run. So this bin user should have dev null as home directory and should do bin dash false uh, as their login. We have a daemon that probably runs all the daemons. This is user six. And the daemon user also dev null. And lastly, bin false because you should not log in that uh, as that user. And we have the message bus user. That's number 18. 18. D bus message daemon user varun is the home director of that user and bin false okay so it was varun d bus okay and then we have nobody very good user and that's number 99 on privileged user, a user that may not do anything in the system, but everybody can uh, use the nobody uh, user, and then we do an end of file. So now we have created the password file. And we need to create a group file as well for all the groups. And these are a lot of groups. So we will be going on for a while here. Uh, end of file. So first up we have the root group, self-explanatory. Then we have the bin group. So these are pretty much the same. But in the bin group we have the daemon user. And then we have the sys group, we have the kmem group, we have the tape group, who uses tape anymore, we have the tty group, uh, and we have the diamond group, 
for six. We have the floppy group. So do you have access to the floppy? I do not. We have the disk. So this is disk access. We have LP, probably for printing. Uh, that's number nine. Then we have dial out. That's number 10. And we have audio. Could be good to have access to audio. We have video. So those are close. We have UTEMP. Number 13. We have USB. So we do we have USB access? We have CD-ROM. Access group. We have the admin access group. We have a message bus. Uh, 18. We have the input. 24. We have mail. That's 34. And uh, we have KVM group, that's 61. I think these are common. Wheel is uh, actually the root group, the new root group, uh, commonly used for root users and people with pseudo access. Then we have the common no group <laughs> group at 99. And then we have the users group at 999 and then we do an end of five so there was a lot of groups there right uh, but all are common for a linux environment uh, so now we need to do uh, another executable here um, and this is to remove the i have no name prompt so we do an exec uh, tools bin bash login plus h so now we are the root user <laughs> so now we need to touch some files var log and here we need to touch b temp last log fail log and v temp we have all those files. Let me change group of utemp. Uh, let's see, var log last log. Um, and we change mode of that to uh, 664. Also, bar log last log, and we want to change mode of uh, 600 to var log b temp. So only the root user may read that one. And I will split this video up in multiple videos, um, but I think that uh, this series is gonna uh, give you something and I hope that you will learn something from this series that you will understand Linux a little bit better um, if you like this video give it a like share it with your friends and colleagues um, if you have any comments about this specific video then leave them in the comment section down below uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.